Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog series for True Detective Season 1. This time we're looking at Episode 7, the penultimate episode, After You've Gone. And this is by far my favorite episode of the show so far. After some, you know, problems I had with the last two episodes, even though they were still good, this one just kicks it up. A notch and then some and it's beautiful and perfect in so many different ways so basically in this episode we are set now in present day 2012 Marty and Rust have settled their differences and are working together to finally finish and solve the case that they've been working on since 1995 that they thought they completed but there's still somebody out there with some scars on their face and they're ready to just go at it and look for who it is and where they can find them and it's just a great manhunt story right here we just it's so fun to watch these characters play off each other. Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson do a fantastic job here. And we get really into the darker sides of this show. Um, there's a scene near the middle of the episode when Rust shows um, Marty a video of... Um, a ritual going on with these kids and the reaction on Woody Harrelson's face is so good you see just how much this is tearing him apart and hurting him just looking at it it's fantastic and in this episode we also learned that the Tuttles which are a very big family in Louisiana um, a lot of them are in politics, in government, and um, part of uh, the church. And we learned that a lot of these disappearances and murders and all this is happening within the radius of a bunch of Tuttle Foundation schools. So that brings religious leaders into the mix here and government corruption. And it's so good. And the episode just continues to build and build to a satisfying climax where we finally get who the killer is, who they are looking for. And if you've been paying attention, I don't know, my stomach just growled, but um, if you've been paying attention throughout the show, we've seen this man before that we see at the end of the show. And... Um, it's just fantastic, and when you finally figure it out, you're like, holy crap, he was there the whole time. And I just love the way this episode ends. It's very, you know, villainous, and I mean, maybe in a way cliche, but it works so well. It's so grim, it's so dark, and it's clear we're going for a finale that's just going to be nothing but fantastic. I love the show so much and just I've been having a blast going through it. I love everything about this episode from its acting to its directing to its music choices to just the subject matter. It's so grim, it's so dark, but yet there's just a ray of hope that things might turn out right. I love these characters. Russ Cole and Marty Hart are just beloved characters and, you know, they had their problems, but they work it out and they're just played so well by two amazing actors. And I'm so ready to watch the next episode, the finale, and then after that I will do a review of season one and then start on season two and see where that takes me. So I'm pumped to see the finale. I've 
loved every minute of the show, even with the bad episodes, which aren't really bad, just a little disappointing. I've had so much fun re-watching this show, and I can't wait for it to continue, and I hate for it to end. So, really guys, that's all I've got to say about this, so as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.